What happened to YouTubers, man? I can't not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their life? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. Do better. Do better. Now yesterday we talked about the civil war happening between the YouTubers, a uh, full on 3v1, but that one person has the whole internet backing him up. Now if you already forgot about the situation or you're new here and you, and you have absolutely no idea what's going on with the drama, let me talk you with some recap with the backstory. Last week three very popular YouTubers held hands, started running towards whatever the fuck they were running to, holding their new product Launchy, which is a combination of Prime, Chocolate, and some other sandwiches, which has real cheese. Do not forget, it has real cheese. In our product, we have real cheese, and ours just tastes way better than Lunchable. They got to the finish line, they all put their three hands together, and they said, on a count of three, let's say, let's make the world a better place. One, two, three, let's make some money, uh, fake advertise, make our audience fat, and lie about it that is healthy, and make billions of dollars. And then that TDM, the grandfather of YouTube, decided to enter this drama and make one comment which was going to start this whole cyber war. And like we talked about it yesterday, both KSI and Logan Paul decided to retweet and attack the shit out of Dan as if he cursed at their mother or someone, as if Dan killed their dog. That's how angry they were at Dan. And then after 30 attempts of KSI attempting to shit on Dan, which was absolutely a big failure, he decided to make a whole 20 minute YouTube video talking about the Dan situation, the Launchly situation, and the whole drama happening, which the title says, everyone hates us now. And why did he decide to do that? First, I would say he doesn't like to be hated because he barely finds himself into a in a, in a controversial situation. But Logan Paul and Mr. Beast, they always get in drama. They know how to handle the hate, but KSI decided to come forward and address it and obviously laugh for absolutely no reason at all after every sentence he says, Trying to see, it's trying to test the water and make himself likable with his laugh. Dan TDM came through with his with his tweet. So I was like, right, I got a reply to this. So, so this is what I said. Looks like crap to me while showing his toys that he sold to kids. <laughs> How does this benefit your fans, Dan? <laughs> now, obviously, people didn't realize that I was sh shining a mirror in his face. Instead, they were like, uh, wait, you did the same. As Dan, you made uh, toys with tube heroes. And yes, that's fair. But I'm not the one complaining. <laughs> uh, well, okay then. He was talking about food, not merchandise and toys. And I'm like, okay, sure. Let's keep moving the goalposts. But okay, did I reply to this? <laughs> he was sponsored, then promoted, and made a whole video on Munch Pack, a monthly sub box full of food and candy to his Minecraft audience full of kids now what his audience just didn't know what to do they couldn't fathom the idea that their beloved dan was also exactly what he claimed that we were <laughs> safe to say he's a hypocrite <laughs> but again uh they kept moving the goalposts and being like oh well dan only did this once he's only made a video once about sweeties uh, to his audience so you're wrong i mean he still did it, but sure. Now, before we talk about the thing that, you know, Dan is promoting the same thing, he's being a hypocrite about it, according to KSI. I want to, I'm saying this with pure, like, no hate at all. It just gets annoying. He laughs at the end of every single sentence he says. Again, no hate. I respect KSI. I respect, you know, he got himself to where he is. Now, I respect the hustle. But I also enjoy the laugh. I love his laugh, but it gets sometimes too much. Time and place, KSI. Time and place. <laughs> How does this benefit your fans, Dan? <laughs> He's a hypocrite. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me or it's for you too, but anything he says, my dog just went in the street and this idiot forgot to look left and right. <laughs> the shit I took today, I felt like I was getting fingered. <laughs> I went to this one restaurant and the food was absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I do love his laugh. I think it's a very funny, unique laugh, but he's just pushing it. Like that one time, time and place, he talked about the Palestine situation and he was talking and he was like, oh, I don't want to get into politics, but I don't know what's happening. Ah 
Ah, he just fucking made a whole laugh about it. That, that was really not good. He just needs to learn the time and place. Now, back to the whole Dan situation. He says that Dan did the same thing. Dan is a hypocrite because he promoted food nine years ago. Because one thing you forgot to mention is the community note under that post that KSI posted. Let's go read it. He posted this on Twitter saying, but, but he was talking about food JJ. He said that, you know, JJ said he was sponsored and promoted and, and made a whole video on Munch Pack. A monthly sub box full of food and candy to his Minecraft audience full of kids. Now what? And hits with a community note, but obviously he's not going to show that community note. Saying the reference video is over nine years old on Dan TDM. It was posted on his second channel. This was a one-off sponsorship where Dan TDM was given a free food package from Munchpack to try unique food from around the world. This is clearly different from KSI's partnership with Lunchly. Now, it doesn't matter if it was two years ago or nine years ago or 10 years ago. Yes, he promoted it, but he didn't create it and false advertise it because a lot of misunderstanding is happening with this whole drama. A lot of people think that, oh, everyone's just hating on a lunchbox and because they hate Logan Paul and they hate Mr. Beast after all the allegations and accusations coming towards him. It is not because of that. Maybe it is a little bit because of that, but the main reason is because of the false marketing that they're doing and they're pushing it so hard. Like they're literally bringing Lunchables, which is a competitor brand for Lunchly, and they're shitting on it in front of everyone. Like promote your own brand. Don't shit on the other brand. This is just a small portion of it. The second big portion, which is the majority reason for this whole drama, is the fact that they're saying how much less calories, how much more electrolytes, how much less sugar, Less, it's so much healthier for you. If you buy Lunchly, you're going to get all the bitches in the world. I didn't say that, but similar to what I'm saying, literally. Add three inch to your cucumber with Lunchly and Lunchly only. Okay, I'm done. So we got healthy chocolate. We got a healthy drink filled with sugar. Absolutely 110% healthy. And because Logan Paul said that it is so much better and it has real cheese and it's so much healthier, you should, you, you're a fool if you don't believe Logan Paul with the past experience that he has and with the reputation that he's holding you are a fool if you don't believe him oh uh, well dan tdm doesn't actually own the sweets okay you own lunchly so it's not the same okay cool where was the same energy when ryan trahan really sweet where was the same energy when phase rog really sweet now i'm not throwing them under the bus ksi with this video he's going full diddy mode exposing everyone else next thing we know phase rug dan what is it the other guy they're going to they're going to delete all of their twitter posts but i'll tell you what the difference is in this situation ksi again they are not saying that if you eat this candy you will be skinny this is so much healthier for you because it has less sugar less calories more electrolytes and this whole thing and it is the best thing you will ever try in your life they're not doing this thing they're saying candy here you go it's very good buy it it's my brand support it will it make you fat Probably yes. They're not telling their audience that they will get six packs if they eat that candy. But anyway, I'm not seeing people going crazy towards them on Twitter. You know why? I've realized why. It's because people just hate us. <laughs> people just hate us. People hate Logan Paul, okay? They hate Mr. Beast and they hate me on Twitter, okay? When it comes to Twitter, Twitter is just a cesspool of the most <laughs> depressed people on this earth. <laughs> I'm gonna step back and look at the whole fucking situation. These motherfuckers are complaining about a lunch kit. That's what this whole thing is about, a lunch kit. There's way more crazier things happening in this world, but people want to go in on this lunch fucking kit. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? And without a doubt, 100% he knows the reason why everyone's hating on this whole situation it is not because it is just a launch kit it is mainly 98 percent 90 percent for the fact that from the way they're marketing this whole thing 10 percent is because they just don't like these people and i said in the last video as well there's absolutely nothing wrong if you want to open a business you're a content creator i'm gonna probably open a business in the future as well i have two billion dollar ideas which i am not fuck it, i'm gonna share it. first billion dollar idea i'm going to open a kush shawarma spot Eat the chicken will be so juicy you will be filled with joy the inside the shawarma there will be so much garlic you will get pregnant from it i don't care male female shemale, gmail anyone second billion idea i'm going to start my whole shisha thing kush shishas 
the best of the best uh, fucking have the tobaccos, uh, mamacos, all that shit. I'm still a little bit 50-50 about the whole thing, but there's nothing wrong with doing these things. There's absolutely nothing wrong with starting your own business, but am I going to be like, hey guys, do you want healthy lungs? Kush Shisha will give you that. No mess. Healthy lungs, healthy organs. You think air is healthy? Smoke my shisha and you will experience healthy. If I do that, I deserve every backlash cancellation coming my way. Absolutely, yes. It's just people are just mad about the whole marketing thing. Case, I tried to pull it off with the whole... <laughs> After every... I think there was more laughing than the when he was speaking throughout the whole video. It was a failed attempt in my eyes. He went on more throughout this whole video just looking at... Uh, reddits of you know people roasting him and him laughing and pretending like it's all cool and trying to you know lighten things up with this video with his laugh with his humor people were making fun of his forehead in one video and he was just laughing about it someone said that you can have a whole universe in your forehead there are people living on your forehead because there's a whole country that a lot of this other shit and he was just laughing and pretending like it's all cool and what happens when jj presses pause in those videos uh, oh, someone said I have a big forehead. Ah! So with this video, we're going to watch. And with 21,000 comments responding to criticism. Nope. Yapping. Bro was in a 3v1 and still lost. JJ slowly getting more and more triggered through the video is hilarious. Bro actually thought he cooked. I like how JJ is hiding the community note. Blood is getting owned by Diamond Minecraft. Bro thinks we're on his side. Bro's pushing 40 and still crying over Chris. Is guy 40? What the fuck? He's basically just laughing throughout the whole video and just not actually sitting down and talk, talking through it. He needs to learn time and place. But again, like I said, it's just trying to kill it with his humor. This video has around 58,000 likes. And according to the analytics, he has around 100,000 dislikes on this video. Is this bad for him? Maybe a little bit. He's going to cry for two nights and then he'll be fine. Or he'll be chilling because he has like a billion dollars from just Prime itself. Is it going to be bad for Lunchly? Absolutely not. There's so many people who are still going to buy Lunchly. And even if he just doesn't respond to it at all, he's going to be completely fine. And I think he knows that. But he just tried to, you know save a little bit of his reputation and maybe also make some money from this video which has almost a million views on uh, on his second channel but anyways just thought i'll talk about this whole situation with ksi responding making a whole 20 minute video about this let me know your thoughts in the comments below take care of yourself i'll see you the next